I was born into riding. I mean, really, my dad used to, my dad used to take me for rides when I was a kid, you know, on the front of his bike. And then when I was five, I started riding. We built like probably about 80 bikes. Every bike wants its own version of what custom is, you know? Try and let the bike tell us what it wants. Yeah, I've been working with Bell since, since I started road racing. Fell down pretty hard quite a few times when I was younger. And all that was in between my brain and the ground was a Bell helmet. Graduating from racing and um, coming into being a designer, it's been much cooler to work with Bell now because I can actually get in and work on some design and development of the helmets as well as the graphics packages and things like that. With the Custom 500s, it was super fun because I've been I've been working on you know that style of design for a long time and try and bring in stuff that we did on the motorcycle into the helmet designs it was pretty cool. That's one of those ones that just was perfect out of the gate, you know, just came yeah, together. Yeah, I you know, Roland will, will come up with an idea that just kind of completely blows everything out of the water and we'll just build on that and the synergy is just amazing. Some designs are pretty complicated, you know, I mean, this helmet, for instance, was pretty uh, technical. It was a lot of work on Bell's part to get the detail work done. Other stuff is like literally drawn on the helmet and Here's the design, and it's like, okay, that's good. We're gonna go with that. It's like sweet. We see a lot of people sacrificing safety for looking good, so we're trying to combine the two and take the biggest name in helmet protection, Bell Helmets, and merge it with one of the rising stars in creative design, and that's Roland Sam. We see eye to eye on a lot of things, and we're all going in the same direction with our brand message for Bell and RSD, and you know, it works. It's a really good match. You know when, when you're a kid, you know the feeling you get when you're just like on your way to go ride. You cannot wait to get out there and ride your bike. And then you just get on your bike and you ride until your dad's like, we have to go, we, we have to go home. And then you're crying, you know, because you don't want to leave. <laughs> so I think my whole life is spent trying to get back to those moments. <laughs>